against it. And uh, they bounce me down, but I stay still myself, and I do the same thing I do. I don't change because they bounce me down a couple of times. They got tired of me. They were threatened when I was, you know, Reagan and so forth. Ronald Reagan cleared the way that I should lead the STI program. And that involved international forces, leading forces in Italy, France. That's right, because it's on record that you're one of the original people to call for it, but as a way to have international force to actually stop asteroids. And Reagan liked that idea because that would help sell it, I guess. No, no, he was actually, Reagan was actually two things. He was a president, and a lot of our presidents have an opportunity to side to them, as I think you know. Uh, some of them are, are good otherwise, and Reagan was one of those cases. He was not the greatest genius among our presidents, but he was a, he was a very serious figure. He was close to uh, the Franklin Roosevelt circles in his time. He was an aide an officer, a flying officer, so to speak, in that period, during that wartime period. And well, but all, by, by, by basis, in terms of social basis, was largely from my experience with World War II. I was no significance in that period as such. But I was associated with the OSS, for example, or by later at a later time. I was, didn't know them as OSS then, but people, they came to me in a later point of life and came all, all veterans of the OSS, uh, surviving veterans, and they became a, a key part of the Reagan administration. And therefore, I was the one who mustered this international campaign for a strategic defense initiative. And I'm still in the same the same kind of commitment with a little change in technology. I'm now worried about how we're going to deal with the moon. I want to get some thermonuclear power here in this this planet of ours at a new level, which uh, we, discoveries on the moon show that we can do. And I want to get a, a program of economic development, which I think will be sufficient, given even a few, a handful, a relative handful of scientists, but you've got a, good, a handful of very good scientists working together on thermonuclear fusion, enhanced by, by, by helium-3, you do that. You can take a, a handful of scientists in various nations, and you can build the greatest power of, of progress for mankind that ever was imagined. And that's what I'm committed to. Progress, absolutely real progress, not the eugenicist the industrialization progress. Well, people need to call Congress, it's starting to happen, and say impeach Obama. Uh, throw him out of office, uh, arrest him, uh, go after Holder, because uh, they're starting to persecute the press, sir, as you know. They, they've arrested Dinesh D'Souza. They're arresting governors for no reason. Uh, they're threatening people. I'm being threatened. I don't want to give it any attention, but folks need to pray for us. Uh, you know what it's like when they start threatening you. Uh, but that shows we're getting to them, right? We, we, we are, I would say, you know, look, we got 70% of the population of the United States wants this bump out now. I think it's 77, yeah. Yeah, that's what it's, but, they, but then you have people, members of Congress, not a majority, but I think you could probably get, in a fair term, about 20% of the members of the Congress, I think, would be willing right now to say, throw the bum out. As a matter of fact, some members of the Congress are almost hysterical. Get this nut out of there. It is crazy. I've, I've never seen I've never seen power grabbing uh, like it. What do you know from your sources about Obama, the man? Is he a total puppet? Or what's going on with him? Oh, he is a he is a he would have been nothing except for a woman called Valerie Jarrett. Now, Valerie Jarrett had been was an American by by law, but she was really a British agent, and she was assigned to go back into the United States. And uh, through uh, some crop people at Harvard and things like that, this monkey, or virtual monkey, uh, became uh, a political figure. He was nothing. He would never have become anything except for Valerie Jarrett. He is, he is not really a president in a functional sense. I mean, he runs around with his jock strap between the, you know, the two parts of the, of the White House, <laughs> one part of the family part, the other parts, the public part. And he was playing with basketballs up in this little room which separates these two parts of the White House. And so he was not really much of a heavyweight. His idea, his mental capabilities and ideas are virtually zilch, or less than zero in some respects, I think is probably better. So he's, he's only an instrument. And what happened is the British, the British system got him elected president 
by the biggest drug deal ever run. And you remember that when he was running against Hillary Clinton and came down to Texas, and they were running pretty much neck by neck. And the drug flow from Texas, the drug money to Texas coming out of London was the thing that won him his presidency. And Wall Street was fully behind it. I know you've written books and everything about the British Empire running most of the drugs. And boy, is that certainly, certainly true. Their big banks openly launder the majority of the money. They get caught. They don't get in trouble. All right. Well, uh, Lyndon LaRouche, thank you so much for all of the time. We'll put your websites up on screen. And uh, you and uh, any of your other crew you'd like to recommend, I'd like to get some of the doctors you've got on staff. I know to come on and some of your researchers talk about Obamacare and what it would do. You were right about that, saying it was death care. Uh, and I, I, I really appreciate you spending time with us. Hopefully uh, we can stop World War III. <laughs> right, exactly. Thank you very much. Wow, very interesting guy to have him on. I'm going to come back, callers. I'm going to get to calls in the next two segments. Then we've got another guest coming on. i got a bunch of breaking news. Stay with us. My husband's the gun guy. I've just never felt comfortable with them. But these days, I know I need protection. And I found it at theultimateknife.com. It fits my hand like a glove. Plus, it's small enough to easily conceal. And the peace of mind it gives me is unbeatable. The fastest one-handed deployable defense knife is waiting for you at theultimateknife.com. Use promo code radio at checkout for free shipping. Get the ultimate knife at the ultimate price. Only at theultimateknife.com. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and to truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. CanteenShop.com provides the best in hard-tested gear for survival, prepping, bushcraft, and everything outdoors. And we're the only place you'll find stainless steel canteen kits, unique gear from the Paracord Guy, and zombie tinder fire starters all at one easy-to-use website. Check out the Preppers Pack and see our custom knives, tarps, EDCs, and more. It's the best gear available with unbeatable customer service. 216-410-5096 or visit CanteenShop.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. You know, I want to get Lynn LaRouge on sometime because he never does it. To maybe talk about being in the medical corps and then getting recruited into OSS in World War II. And he saw heavy combat operations. It just was all over. They were sending him all over the place. Uh, I mean, that that's most of those guys are dead now or they can't talk. You know, they're so old. He's like 91 years old, I think now. And he knows what he's talking about. It's, it's just amazing. I find it really interesting. Doesn't mean I agree with everything he stands for. Some call him a leftist, some call him ultra right wing, whatever. I just get him on because he's so demonized.
And it, it just shows that they, oh, don't listen to that guy. He's, he's bad. He's racist. Don't watch Alex Jones. MSNBC says he's deeply racist. They just play these mind games to keep us divided. While the world does hurdle towards greater crises. We're going to go to uh, Habu and then quickly to Julio and then uh, Raptor Man. He's been holding forever, actually, right after Habu. Look, I skipped a break earlier, which cost the network and myself money. I haven't plugged anything all day. I'm so obsessed with the news. We're almost two hours in. If you believe in this broadcast and want to find incredibly high-quality products, they are the best we can find, InfoWarsStore.com, whether it's books, videos, pro-liberty T-shirts, hats, you name it. We've got the new Made in America, Molon Lambe, Spartan with crossed uh, M4s, uh, T-shirt bestseller. We've got the Bottle Breacher 50 caliber bullet. Uh, we've just got so much at InfoWarsStore.com, MadeIn1776.com, takes you right to the area with the Made in America shirts and stuff. And we've also got InfoWarsLife.com with the proprietary supplements that we're so proud of that helps fund the operation. Um, please support us. Please uh, shop with us. Shop with the good guys. I want to thank all of you that do shop with us. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go to Habu in Wisconsin. Uh, go ahead. Thanks for holding. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jones. Um, always good to listen to you. Uh, I'll be very quick and, and brief and bullet type uh, uh, points. You know, your analysis and that of your uh, esteemed uh, guest is spot on. Absolutely correct. Um, uh, secondly, I'm not an uh, uh, I'm agnostic on this matter of the Ukraine, and I have uh, I'm, I, I, I'm not tied to one side or the other. But after listening to um, State uh, um, Department uh, official Newland saying that she had uh, the U.S. had spent five billion dollars, and uh, that going to a poor country sh that should have been able to buy um, thousands, if not some million uh, people. So that shows, I think, uh, why there is such a polarized kind of um, situation with only certain group of protesters. And as you say, uh, observed correctly, that uh, the, the police have been remarkably uh, um, uh, restrained, which would not happen in uh, um, you know, other parts of the world. And lastly, may I offer this prediction, and I'm not trying to be alarmist, I, I believe that um, President Putin is just biding his time uh, to wait for the Sochi Olympics to end. And after that, if this level of violence continues, he's going to uh, take matters in his hands um, just because that is, I believe, Russia's interest. So That's, that's another great said. point. They noticed they, they pulled this whole Soros thing off during the Olympics, just like they attacked at the last Olympics in China. Remember that in, in 2008? Uh, they, they launched an attack on Russia during the Olympics when they knew Putin was there. This is, this is unbelievable. And uh, you know, that's a good point. How do you think the Russians are going to respond, though? Well, I think it's being restrained. And, you know, this, of course, will be fodder for, I believe, the West, meaning they'll say, oh, yeah, this guy is a real, uh, you know, anti-democrat, this, that, the other, uh, Putin, to demonize Putin even more. I, I don't, just like the Georgia case, the West will not be able to do anything. After all, you know, all the gas goes through um, through Ukraine, and if it doesn't, there's another pipeline around it, and it's Ukraine who benefits more from the passage of gas, getting the tariffs, etc., uh, and getting Russian gas, too. Well so said, Habu, you're amazing. You know what's sad? You hear folks that are obviously not from the U.S., and they know all about geopolitics and everything works, and you talk to my average American, they don't even know what planet we're on. I mean, our listeners are smart and informed, but, I mean, it's fun to know how the world works. It's all the little pieces and it's all the little... I love talking to people like Habu. We'll be right back. Stay with me. More calls and Farah's joining us. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed.
disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 